Did you hear that? Those are black-capped chickadees calling to each other from the trees. It's the middle of winter, and I'm out here bird watching. Some birds migrate south for the winter, while others stay here all winter long. Today, we're going to learn a little bit more about migration and about the birds that flew south that are already making their way back to the Northeast. Let's go see what we can find. I'm Jane Lindholm, and this is But Why from Vermont Public, where we explore the science behind what's happening on your local landscape each month. This month, we're going to be talking about migration, which birds stay in the Northeast, which birds leave, and how they know when it's time to return. Let's go find a couple of people who can help us learn more. Debbie. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jane. It's a beautiful day in February. There's still snow on the ground. Are birds migrating back here to the northeast yet? Migration is just getting underway, particularly for our birds that come from way down south, like in Central America. Wow, so some birds are already migrating, even though we think of this as still winter. I mean, we've still got snow, we've still got a lot of time left for cold weather, but birds are already on the move? Absolutely, yeah. The red-winged blackbird is by far one of the earliest migrants that we see here in the Northeast. Um, they're considered a short distance migrant. And so they're coming back super early because there's certain patches of marsh and wetland where they like to breed that provide better habitat than other places. So the first bird to get back and start establishing a territory can get one of the highest quality pieces of habitat to breed on. Why don't all birds migrate out of here in the winter? Because as we know, it's pretty cold and I'm not foraging a lot in the winter. I don't know about the birds. So migration is just one of several adaptations, several strategies that animal species have to survive winter. So migration is another strategy that allows birds to find food at all times of year and have their needs met because the costs of flying far distances and making sure that you have food on either end of your migration journey is something that if it didn't make sense, they wouldn't migrate. So some of the birds that I see around where I live in the Northeast all winter long are cardinals, eastern bluebirds, chickadees, which are so wonderful to watch in the winter time. So those are some of the birds that are spending the winter here and they are adapted to be able to do that, right? Yes, yeah, those, but those species are definitely adapted to be here. A lot of them have foraging strategies, um, like they'll kind of switch over from insects in the summer and they'll start looking for seeds and berries during the winter time. And it's really a game of food availability and space. If people are interested in starting to notice these birds as they come back and, and want to be able to see what's happening in their local landscape, what's a good way to do that? So I think a great way to start birding in the Northeast is to start in the wintertime. There are fewer birds around, and so you can really spend our long winter days getting to know the birds that are right in your neighborhood, in your local park, in your backyard. Here at the Audubon Center in Huntington, I keep a list every year, starting with when I see the first red-winged blackbird. And so it's, I know that here in Huntington, it's usually around the end of February that that bird will come. But then that gets me really excited and to start paying attention. That's like my cue to start, okay, making sure I have my binoculars with me. There are other signals, natural signals, that birds use that cue up migration. So for example, we know and have been enjoying today that the sun is out and the length of day is getting longer. So that is a signal that it could be time, it's approaching time to start migrating. Well, I would like to use some of the tips and tools that the both of you have given me to go observe some of the birds here at the Audubon Center right now. So I'm gonna leave the two of you with my thanks very much for helping us understand migration and bird watching. Thank you, Jane, good luck. Can I borrow your binoculars? Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> what an awesome day to be out looking for birds in the Northeast. February is a great time for you to start bird watching too. If you can familiarize yourself with the birds in your neighborhood at this time of year, you'll really recognize when some new ones return in the spring. 
Keep a journal and mark down the first day you see a red-winged blackbird, an American woodcock, or a turkey vulture. Keep that record your whole childhood and you'll have a great journal of the returning birds in your neighborhood. Good luck, you citizen scientists. Bye.